In today's video, I'm gonna introduce you to my newest training horse. She's right there, her name is Lucy. And I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about her, show you kind of what she's like, and then hopefully be able to give you a lot of update videos so you can watch her progress. Okay, so this is Lucy and Miss Lucy. <laughs> Miss Lucy arrived yesterday. Um, she is a three-year-old quarter horse. She's a ranch type horse. Um, now, <laughs> thanks Stella. Now, she arrived yesterday. She trailered over, she, she only lives a few miles away, but <laughs> it is still, even though it is springtime here, let's see, today is March 30th. Don't mind my obnoxious dog. She gets excited when horses run around. Um, today is March 30th, 2022, and we still are like full-blown winter. So all day yesterday was freezing rain, all day today freezing rain, and now we're supposed to get like a foot of snow tonight. So that's kind of how it is here. So I've kind of been putting off Lucy come, coming here just because of the weather conditions. I like to wait until you know, snow is done falling off the roof and, and uh, the ground is a little dry before I take in new training horses, but she, here she is. So, um, and also I am sick as all get up right now. So I am only out here long enough to clean her stall, give her some, um, you know, fresh water and that kind of stuff and that's it and let her run around. So Lucy is stuck in a stall for at least a few days. And I really, oh, that's nice. Good girl. I started to back up as soon as she turned to walk to me. So I have had, this is the most I've handled her so far. Yesterday when she got here, we turned her loose in the arena just so she could kind of check it out, put her in a stall, and that's it. Now, as far as how she was handling a stall, this is brand new for her. Um, her owner bought her um, last fall, and... I don't really know what her past is like other than the fact that she was started before she was officially even two and ridden, um, ridden relatively hard. Um, so she wasn't ridden for very long, but the riding that I saw that was done with her was a little bit much for a horse of her age. So she's the same age as my Manzer, which just makes it I just can't, I, I can't see doing very much with him even now. And he's going to be three in a couple of months. So for the amount of, the amount of riding that this horse had so young, um, and with somebody that wasn't really all that small, um, I just, I just can't understand it at all. Cause that's just not, not how, that's not how I do things. Um, the horses are not fully developed even until they're five, six years old. So to see them getting worked that hard that young is, is just really hard for me to understand. I just don't get it. So Miss Lucy is just, um, she's here to be started, restarted. Um, and like I said, she's been ridden, but I'm going to be just sort of taking things slow with her. She's not good at bridling, so I've been told. She doesn't know, um, she doesn't know a whole lot. She doesn't have... The best um, ground manners per se so she doesn't really understand space and, and all that but she's so friendly and she's so curious that I'm super excited to be working with her so I'm I'm anxious to see how she progresses but things even like going to put her halter on she's just a little standoffish and one of the first things I want to do with her is start introducing her to giving um like haltering herself essentially. So where she comes in, she willingly um, sticks her head in the halter. <laughs> but she's so darn cute. She is just a little beauty. And now since she's been in a stall since yesterday, um, she's been pretty upset. So she was rearing quite a bit yesterday. Um, she's not drinking as much water as I would like to see, but this is normal for a horse that, you know, she doesn't know where she's at. She's, she's, she's so young. She's hardly experienced life yet. So 
even um, one of my mares, I had to keep her in a stall for a few days recently. And the first two days, she did not want to drink. So I made sure to have a salt block in there with her. And really, she just needed to get comfortable with it. So once Lucy um, gets used to kind of hanging out and comfortable, she's going to do a lot better with that. So I'll just... I'm going to leave a bucket of water out here with her for a little bit while she's playing and running around and hoping that she'll drink. But that is one nice thing about them being in a stall is I can see how much they're drinking. I'm just going to kind of shoo her out of here. Thanks, Stella. <laughs> um, so with, with Lucy, you can see too, like her flank, she's a little bit tucked up in the flank. That's just from her moving around so much. She probably isn't eating as much as she normally would since she's in a stall. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, not drinking. It's just, it's, it's normal. It's, it's stressful for them to move. So, but the more they get used to, why don't you get out of that corner? The more they get used to being in new places and doing different things, the less stressful it becomes because they get used to it. They realize this is no big deal. So um, I had somebody comment on a video just recently about um, my Dexter video, if you haven't seen that. It's one of my newest lesson horses. And um, I had him, he arrived, he's 20 years old, he arrived, I had him um, in a stall for a couple hours, and then I tied him to our wall for maybe 10 minutes. And then somebody hopped on and rode him for 10 minutes. And then I put him out with his little herd of geldings. And somebody commented and said, why would I put a horse through that much stress? And I was thinking, I'm like, you know, if your horse gets injured and you have to haul them to the vet clinic or you go to a, um, a horsemanship clinic to ride in or you go to a horse show or you just want to go to a friend's house to trail ride, you know, so if you, what are you supposed to do? Like not do those things because your horse might not be okay with it at first. The more you do it, the better they'll get. So like Dexter, he's 20 years old, really hasn't been many places at all. So it was new to him. So of course it's going to be um, a little frustrating and stressful until he travels a handful of times. And then once he does it, <laughs> excuse me, once he does it a little bit, then it's no big deal. So like after he was at my place for a couple of weeks, he settled in really nicely. But so anyway, same thing for this girl. So yesterday, whenever horses would come in the arena and then leave or whatever, she would get really upset and she was rearing and just really carrying on and having a hard time. It's new for her. She does not understand. So as she becomes comfortable, I would really like you away from those mirrors, sweetheart. Get out of there. I'm going to move this block because I don't like when the horses put their noses on the mirrors um, because I don't want them smudging them up. And then for two, I don't like when they put their noses on the mirrors because I don't want them breaking them. So I don't like that. I am also going to um, get a weight and um, put a stick on this horse too and see how tall she is. So I'm assuming she'll be here for at least a couple of months. When I start horses from scratch, um, I require a minimum of three months for them to be with me. So, and now this horse, you know, to me, I consider it from scratch, even though she's been saddled, she's had a rider on, walk, trot, and canter. But again, she just, you know, she needs so much more in order to be a safe mount. So she's going to be used as a trail horse. So she's just going to be trail riding and doing fun things like that. So we just want to make sure that she's super quiet, exposed to as many things as possible, safe, you know, stands for mounting, um, is good with all things. She's got a little fuzzball that she's a little tuft of hair that she's sniffing around. See that kind of, that kind of stuff I love about horses. So they're not all like that. But if I were to pick, see, she's blowing on that little tuft of hair. And as it blows, she follows it. Is she just the cutest or what? So if I were to pick a horse for myself, I would choose one that is curious like this. Because those are the ones that really genuinely enjoy working. And they are so smart and pick up on things. And I feel like 
they genuinely want to be doing things. So that's just my opinion. But come here, Lucy. I'm trying to walk backwards here. But she's a cute little mover. She's got a couple little little quirky things like with her, um, she's got a funny knee. I do believe that that is from being started too young. Um, like I said, she wasn't even two when they started her. So from what I've been told. And I'm gonna send this ball over and see how, how this goes. But yeah, if you start riding them too young, funny things happen. But I think this is a really great, um, you know, this is really what I do with them for the first day. This is very much a normal first day training session. Like I'm really not, I'm really not doing much, but this is so good for her. She's getting exposed to new things. She's like, what the heck is that thing? Wait till she figures out that it moves when she touches it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a great reaction. Oh, I love her. Absolutely love her already. She's going to be so much fun to work with. I am excited to work on bridling her because, um, like I said, she, I guess she is a little tricky to bridle. Oh my gosh, is she so cute. So yeah, these first few days that they get here, it's like, you know, I would, aw, she's like, oh, this is what I do. Um, horses need time to learn to just settle and kind of just do their own thing. So I really like to give them at least two days, depending on the horse. A young horse that's really never been anywhere, I really feel like they need a solid, you know, two days at least to settle in. But horses that have kind of, you know, been here before or, aren't new to, you know, riding or anything. I, I don't let them, you know, sit usually as long if I don't feel like it's necessary, but she needed it. She needed to just sit. And since she can't be outside right now, it's especially good for her to just be able to have this playtime, explore. It's good stuff. And I will start with a fair amount <laughs> Um, of groundwork and here's the thing is I can't really tell you how long it will take for me to be you know until I get on her it 100% 100% depends on her so, you know some people be like well she was ridden already I'll just get on her and that's not how I roll I need to make sure that she is okay with everything that I present to her so this horse has to be um, like I, I go through each thing individually and we do not pass go until I am comfortable with her and where she's at. So if I feel like she's okay with something and she's understanding it, then we don't sit and drill on it. We just move on to the next thing. And I just kind of, you know, the next day, then I come through and I go through the paces and we just pick up where we leave off. And we do what fits the horse in that situation. We always adjust to fit the situation. Every horse is different. I just kind of feel it out and do what I think that they need. I'd love to see her roll. She hasn't rolled yet. Sorry for all my sniffling and such. Gosh, our household got hit with a really nasty cold. So, and then of course, right around the time that it's like freezing rain and completely yucky outside. So when I come out, it's hard on the lungs. Hey, busy girl. There we go. And I bet you that feels much better. I love for horses to be able to roll in the arena, especially after they're worked and they're sweaty. It's a great way for them to dry off. And in the winter, it's so nice because they can't really, you know, I mean, they'll roll outside, but there's nothing like rolling in sand. 
is just the best, I think, for them. They love it. Okay, this is the best I can do camera-wise, but I just kind of want to show how she is. This is only my like third time haltering her. Um, I like that she came to me. That's really good. She didn't try to turn away. What I eventually want to be able to do is hold my halter up just like this and have her stick her nose in there. See how she's interested in it and she wanted to play with it? That's very good. That's the first step. Yesterday when I haltered her, she just turned her head right away from me. So we're going to work a lot on this and I'm going to get her to the point where she just sticks her head right in her halter herself. Um, it's really nice when you go out to catch your horse and they just come right to you and stuff their head in the halter because it just, for one, it makes you feel good. <laughs> but for two, I think that um, being able to let it be the horse's decision just, uh, I don't know, makes it that much better. I think it's great. Um, I think it's great for your horse, re horse human relationship. So I'll let her come over to me. And now I'm going to try to get her so she's okay with me putting it over. You see how she ducked her head a little bit? She just didn't really like that. So yesterday, I wasn't able to bring it over her head like that. I had to um, come from underneath and sort of give her the hug. So I'll show you as we work on this, because this has been something that I've been doing um, with a lot of my horses, and I'm super happy with how it's worked out. And I just think it really helps teaching horses, you know, that it's good to be caught and that they kind of, you know, kind of have a say in some things too, so to speak. It doesn't really make sense, but I don't know. I like it. Makes me feel better when my horse comes to me and stuffs their head in the halter. I don't know. I can't explain it. I can't say that it's something that is necessary, but it's something that I really like that I have incorporated into my program. I thought it might be kind of nice to show what my setup is like for when I do keep horses in stalls, just for anybody that's curious, because I know a lot of people are like, that's so mean, and I do not like to stall my horses. I prefer horses being outside 24 seven with food, freedom, and friends. It's a great way for them to, um, you know, live the most natural way possible. But, hello, Lila. Meow. Such a good kitty. Um, so that is my preferred way of taking care of horses right now. Hi, Stella. Um, Lucy's the only horse that's staying in a stall. But I have these windows between my stalls, and I absolutely love these because when there are other horses in, they can see each other. And that really makes it so it's a lot less claustrophobic for the horses that have a hard time with that. Now, I have hay chicks nets. In here, I am using um, pelleted shavings, and I did pour water in here, so these will fluff up really well. I like the pellets because they are very easy to keep clean, so that's a bonus. They're um, they're easier to me than the shavings, and they last me a lot longer. So like this bag is like seven bucks, and it'll last me a few days. Where if I buy an eight dollar bale of shavings, um, I'm going through it every like two days. So um, these last a little longer, and I don't even have a full bag in here. Lucy's got her bucket of water, and being still cold, now tonight the temp temperatures are not that cold, so this shouldn't freeze, but I come out twice a day with warm water and fill their buckets when horses are in stalls. And now Lucy, um, she's being transitioned to um, some of what I feed, just because I think it'll be better for her when she's in work. Um, I like simple feed for horses. Lucy is currently getting Omelin 200, and that's what the that's what the oats and stuff you see in here are. Um, but this mushy stuff, this is um, just Timothy pellets. So I really like um, just feeding horses pellets, pelleted hay, because it just um, it's a very natural source of food for them. And I added water to it, so it's you can see it steaming there. So she's got like a mash. Lucy seems to be enjoying her mash. Something I forgot to add too is that I I just put this in here. I like to put salt blocks in their stalls because it gives them something to chew on if they're bored. Um, so it can help prevent cribbing and such. And it helps, you know, if they are chewing on it, they're more likely to drink more water. And I like them to drink extra water when they're in a stall just to prevent any kind of tummy upset. So salt block is always good in a stall. I'm very happy to see her eat so good. She's a great eater. Now, when I led her into the stall, I just lead her in. I always turn them so my back is to the door and then take the halter off. I will be working on teaching her how to back into her stall too, so that'll be great. She sure drops a lot of grain, her feed. But she's gonna have her teeth checked in a couple weeks. We'll 
see where she's at. Yeah, a sloppy eater. <laughs> Now, the reason I add water to the Timothy pellets is because it makes it so it's easier for her to eat. I don't have to worry about her choking, and it's a way to get more water into her, too. So, um, And it makes for a nice warm mash when it's cold out, but um, it's convenient with the feeder that I have in here. So, yeah, soaking the, soaking the pelleted feed is always a good idea because it, it just really helps eliminate your risk of choke. If you haven't seen a horse choking, um, I did just post one a couple of weeks ago. I've got a couple in my my um, playlist on vet care of horses choking. So if you haven't seen it before, check that out. It's super scary. Um, it's somewhat preventable. You know, there are some things that you just can't do to prevent it. But um, if I can help prevent by soaking her feed, then that's what I'm going to do. These um, these pellets too. That's a concern as well. I do know horses who have eaten those and have choked from eating the pellets. So that's why I always add water to them. I never just put them in here dry. If I have a horse tied and they pee, I will put pellets on that, but they're tied and they can't reach it. But in a stall, they, I always add water to them. All right, Miss Lucy, see you in the morning. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed meeting Miss Lucy and I look forward to sharing her progress with you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.